finished the designer handbag sale. Going to do a little bit of something different uh, today. We do got these beautiful handbags that we just thrifted uh, yesterday um, and the day before. And I do also have a few jewelry pieces that I'm going to throw in today and so far. Uh, so that way I don't have to do a separate jewelry uh, designer handbag sale. Oh, uh, jewelry sale. Okay. <laughs> I'll get it right from there now. Okay, we're going to start off with the beautiful Dooney and Burt. I love, love, love this bag. I thought I was going to love this bag more than I do this, the Lexus in here. But I really love this bag. It's a shopper tote. I love the little tassel pulls on the side here. Dooney and Burt. Uh, these bags um was a little dirty and I had to do a deep clean. Uh, to these bags and so far so there's always a stain or ink stain or something left that you cannot get out but you know that's how it is with vintage bags and so far but this bag here does not does not deter any love or any carriage for this is a beautiful bag with a lot of life still left in it to carry and it holds a lot I guess that's why they call it the, um, uh, it's called the, uh, Donnie Burt Colette Tote Shopper Handbag, or Shopper Tote Handbag. So, yeah, that's what this is called, and, um, let's see, here is the inside, it is really clean, except for those little ink stains on the side here that you might not can see, uh, it does have a zipper and three uh, actual open pockets in this particular bag and so far and this is more uh, of the vintage uh, bag because the other uh, Dooney and Burst only had like that zipper and then that one little pocket but this one here I done itself and have three uh, open pockets and one zip now this one do not have um, any uh, outside pockets and so far but it is a beautiful a beautiful bag and so far and it is clean except for the little ink stains that are in here so and I did um clean the leather on the outside as well and condition it um and everything so this bag um like I said got a deep wash a deep clean and everything and it's good to go good to go and as you can see it does hold a lot and this is your Dunn and Burke oh I did not show you the um little tag I know you guys always like to see the tag so let me just take this back out as far as I can go to get to that tag there you go right there the little tag okay so now let me put, oh, and it has a key lander. Oh, let me forget that. Key lander. <laughs> oh, no, most of you don't care about the key lander. <laughs> but I do understand about the tag, and I love to show it. This is such a popular, um, Dooney Burt is such a popular um, and, um, handbag designer, and their vintage handbags still hold its value. Uh, actually, all the Dooney Burt uh, handbags hold their value unless they just total trash. And that happens too uh, and everything. So when people try to uh, impersonate uh, Dooney and Burt and so forth, nobody wants an impersonation of Dooney and Burt because this bag here will still last you many, many years. So yeah, Dooney and Burt here. So that's the good thing about Dooney and Burt. And I sold several of these. Lexington. This is a Dooney Burt Lexington. And uh, like I said, I sold uh, several of these. I sold one of these before in the exact same color. And I sold one uh, in a brown color. A uh, large Dooney and Burt as well. Uh, Lexington. Because you do have the large size. And this is uh, has no damage uh, to this particular bag or that bag. And uh, you got your outside pockets on here. Though you got your front pocket and your back pocket I mean front pocket and then your back pocket double straps leathers are good and all that stuff let me show you if I take the bags out how it looks very nice 
very nice. And as you can see around the corners and things like that, this is not damaged. Okay, let's look in the inside. Again, you got the ink stains in here. This bag has been uh, deep cleaned, so um, you will see, uh, maybe see the ink stains in here. Uh, we I don't know why we do that, but we do. Uh, we carry our ink pens. Sometimes they just, you know, bust on us. They open up. I've had it done, too. I've done it myself. Uh, carry pens around. I still carry pens around and so forth. And that is what happened to, you know, some of the bags and things like that. But anyway, this bag is clean. It has been deep cleaned as well. Uh, lotion, a clean and lotion conditioner on the outside as well. Look at that pretty shine and so forth. Um, and no damage to this bag other than just that flaw ink thing and so forth. Which is no damage. You got a clean bag and so forth. Even though you have an ink stain in it, it's not going to do anything to anything that you put in here. Because the bag is clean other than just the ink stain. So, there you have that. And some people, uh, some designer, I mean, designer, some sellers do not like, uh, and I've said this many times before, they do not like to pick up the dirty bags. <laughs> but hey, that, that's okay because I'm on the trail. I'm on the hunt. So, if you don't want to pick up the dirty bags and so forth, and I will pick them up, you know, for you. <laughs> I do not mind cleaning the bags and so forth and everything. And I do let you know that, you know, if, if I clean it, deep clean it, and so forth. Sometimes I had to do it, uh, deep clean it twice. I've had bags I had to do deep clean. I thought I got everything out. But then when you go to look at the bags again and you see, you know, okay, maybe I can get a little bit more out of there and you do a deep clean it again. I've done that before as well. So I do love, you know, you guys know I love and take care of these bags um, and all that. So they'll go in the cover and everything um, and all that. So this is a beautiful uh, hobo style bag. Uh, I love the style of this bag and it does not have its plastic in it. Or it's bags in it yet. Yeah, let me throw a couple bags in here to show you how pretty um, this little bag is. Um, and all that. Now, these bags I just thrifted uh, yesterday uh, as well. So, I just laid these on the bed. Um, so, they will get sanitized today uh, in the inside. Now, these bags are actually, this bag is actually in new like condition. And so far so it is definitely not dirty or anything like that the bag is not dirty but but I got that butt there guys but but when you get bag even though they are not dirty it's still good to sanitize the bag it's still good to go in, sanitize the bag, uh, you know, wipe it out, wipe it down, wipe it down on the outside, and all this and that. So, look, this is a beautiful Hobo style bag, and so forth. And actually, this bag does not have a, a brand, but it's in new, like, condition. There's no damage to it at all. Uh, it's got that soft leather to it, zipper pocket in the back. This is pretty. Look at that shine. Soft, soft material um, and everything. Um, and with this bag, you got a crossbody strap as well. This is adjustable and uh, detachable. Also, you got these pockets on the side right here to put little things in. And you got these pockets on actually both sides right here. Um, and, of course, you got your back zipper pocket and all that. So now let me talk about all about the bag on the outside. Let me show you the inside. Very clean in the inside. No damage, no stains, no smell or anything like that. You got a zipper pocket here on the back. You got a middle zipper. Uh, and then you got uh, two open pockets on this side here. 
So that's what you got with this bag here. And I do not know. And uh, this is a well-made bag uh, for it not to have a maker on it. Because look at this here, line in here. This is thick. Uh, this is not a cheap bag. And so for the lining is really thick. It's not that thin stuff that you can get from AliExpress in those new bags. And so for this is thick material in here, which, you know, and the leather feels really good to make this bag is really nice. And I like the designs of the size of uh, zipper pockets and things like that. So this is actually a beautiful bag. And I'm going to put these things back. Well, I'm going to wash it out first and then I'll go ahead and put these back. Yeah, so I'll just leave that there. Uh, <laughs> might as well show you this too. I got this cute little uh, flower vase uh, yesterday as well. And I just put everything up here on this bed until I go ahead and wipe it down, which I would do today. So I'm going to lay that there. It's just down the way, so I figured I'll show you that as well. <laughs> okay, here we have the uh, sack root beautiful bag it reminds me of a fossil actually and so far uh crossbody strap adjustable but not detachable i don't think yeah not detachable uh you got your little cross um charm here a uh, zipper pocket on the back a um flat forward pocket on the front and so far very nice bag very nice uh zipper closure and let me stick this bag in here and show you how it looks. Like I said, I did not do uh, anything to these particular bags and so far because um, I did want to wipe them out. Yeah, this is the little sack root. Very colorful, very pretty print here and everything. As you can see, a very pretty print sack root and this is made out of that canvas type material you got your sack root right here and all that look at that cute little charm it's so cute yeah this is a nice little bag very clean and in inside no damage no stain i like that pretty print there and so far on that and everything and you got one zipper and two open pockets Okay. Okay, now this one here, I am not familiar with this particular brand, but this is a cute little bag and so forth, and the leather feels real good. Pebble leather, um, leather bag and so forth, double strap. You got your zipper in the back, and you got your cute little um flap over, and then your logo here. This is called Ricardo Beverly Hills. Uh, very nice little bag and so far, and I did not want to leave it behind. Uh, very cute. Very cute. And you got brass hardware on this particular bag and so far. You got a zipper closure here. Um, you got one zip and two open pockets and everything. And again, you got the front pocket, um, zipper pocket here and then you got one in the back and all that so let's uh, get this in here very cute bag very cute No damage to this bag at all. Very, very cute bag. Okay. And it's got a little snap over here. Uh, there. Uh, snap that back. Okay. Yeah, very cute bag. Okay, so we got one more um, bag that we did thrifty yesterday okay and um uh, that's this bag here i just still got the tag on it there we go take that off don't need that this is and i'm gonna need to put these bags in here and fatten this up
Okay, this is one of the pretty, prettiest bags I've seen uh, with the burgundy. You got your vegan uh, leather here, suede here, and then the rest of the bag is vegan and so far. And it is new, uh, got the tag, and this is the Imperial Los Angeles. Now, also, too, it's got the serial numbers on it to uh, ver verify something about um, approved vegan. Let's see what that say. Uh, yeah, um, uh, approved vegan. Um, so this is a beautiful bag, beautiful color, um, beautiful color, and this is a hobo style bag as well. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty. And this is new, very large, and it's definite hold a whole lot more bags than I put in here but you know like I said um these bags here will be put on the website uh sometime today and because they are new um are in good condition I just gotta like wipe them down and uh get them on the website and so forth and take the pictures uh which I would do today but I did want to show you these beautiful um beautiful bags that I just thrifted and so forth and let me show you one of our micro cores. Now, we're not going to go anywhere or do anything without showing micro cores. Um, and here we do have our black um, sloppy on a leather, a micro cores uh, tote. Here's your little charm, your pocket here. Uh, very beautiful bag. And very beautiful, very beautiful tote. And all that. And it's got a zipper closure. And put that over there. And this bag has a lot, a lot of um, uh, space. Uh, very clean. And this is like, the first time I showed this bag as well. It's got five open pockets in here and two zip. You got the large zipper pocket here, and then you got the uh, zipper wall pocket, and then four open pockets here. On, in this bag and so far this is a beautiful bag I'm actually still surprised that we have this bag uh, you do have your uh, key lander in here very beautiful bag very beautiful uh, Michael Kors um, tote okay I'm gonna jump right into showing some jewelry real quick before we go but I did want to just throw in one of these older bags and so far uh, that we do have um, that's available. Want you to know that we still got your Michael Kors here waiting for you. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. We do, we do. Okay. My husband went with me yesterday uh, to do my sourcing, and it was fun with having him. But I did do a kind of a rush to, uh, did not take the time that I would normally take and so forth, which is okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I probably would have stayed a little bit longer if I had not. Okay, beautiful Victoria's Secret. This is a scandalous limited time edition. Uh, it's a promotional, um, it's a promotional uh, Victoria's Secret bracelet for some kind of, um, you know, thing that they sell. Because they do not sell jewelry. So, this is one of their pieces that they have promoting uh, the, um, promoting their um, products, whatever it was. But it's so pretty with the little knobs here. See it? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, Victoria's Secret. Uh, we do have... The tiger bracelet and so forth. Isn't that cool? This is your clapper. I call it clapper because it snaps. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful tiger bracelet. Um, it fastens on the side. Very nice. Yeah. So these are some of the um, jewelry pieces that I got. Oh, we do have a, they call this the cha-cha, a bracelet, because I guess you can 
check it and so far you do got the black onyx and the clear crystals mixed together with this one here and it's a stretch so that different uh, people can wear this bracelet here and so forth. And this is why they call it the cha-cha. <laughs> yeah, cha-cha. Uh, bracelet, black onyx, um, and everything. So, we have that. And I do like natural stones and things like that. So, um, this is a Hermonite, Hermonite uh, stone, heart pendant, um, necklace it is black grayish it's real pretty real pretty right here okay oh uh, very nice and this is i believe is 17 inches okay we do have a vera bradley as well uh this is a bangle A bangle bracelet. Uh, it is called the Pink Paisley Elephant Bracelet by Vera Bradley. Look at that design. Real pretty. Okay. All right. We do have a Sarah Covington pendant. I do love this brooch. You can put it somewhere else. Uh, it is so cute with the silver and black on it. Very pretty. Pinned it. And it is signed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is another one that is really cute. A uh, pinned it. Very nice. Oh, you can work like this. Straight up or straight across. Very, very pretty. And this is also signed. Silver. silver. Okay. Okay, I would not go without showing you this beautiful turquoise ring. Let me see if you can. Very pretty. Okay. It's big, so it goes right on my uh, middle finger, so you know it's kind of large. And then we do have this so cute, so cute little butterfly ring. With beautiful little rhinestones in this ring. Beautiful little rhinestones. Okay. And then we do have the turquoise earring. Pretty. And the last thing to show you is these beautiful um, amethyst um, purple it's a rosary. Let's see if you can see it. Block out the sun so you can see this beautiful rosary. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Pretty rosary. And you just put it right on. Very pretty. Very pretty. So those are the things that I'm going to show you today and share with you today and so far. I just wanted to um, uh, share with you some of the jewelry that is already on our website and so far. I will be adding more. We do have more jewelry uh, to put out and so far. But these just a few pieces and so far. I didn't want to do a separate uh, jewelry sale. I have done so, and I will do so again. I just didn't want to have to do it all 
today or, or this week. So <laughs> I just added these in with the new handbags that I just built yesterday. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.